Today is Wednesday, March the 25th. And as we head into a completely new learning environment next week, I want to stop and take a few minutes and express the thanks of both Trisha and me for all the work that you've done. I want to thank the faculty for stepping up and going through the training necessary to convert your classes to online. I want to thank all the staff who are learning how to do their work remotely. I want to thank the facilities people who are making sure our facilities are well maintained. And in particular, I want to thank the, the custodians who are working tirelessly to make sure that our facilities are clean and ready for when we eventually return. And also, I want to express my sincere appreciation to all of you who have donated to our efforts to provide emergency funding for our students who are experiencing food and housing insecurity. We are deeply indebted to you for that. <clears throat> now, to move the largest community college system in the world with over 230,000 students and over and thousands of faculty and staff into a completely online environment in less than three weeks is a gargantuan and ongoing task. And as you might expect, it has not been without its stumbles, its mistakes, and its miscalculations. However, I ask that you continue to show patience for the process, patience with the district, patience with your local leadership, and patience with each other, because this is unprecedented. We never knew, never expected, never thought this would be something that we would deal with, but we are. So we will deal with it together as a community, as a group of educators that are focused on the needs of our students. Now, I know it's frustrating. Trust me, I get that it's frustrating. Trying to learn a new environment, change your rhythm, stay home, take care of the kids, do the grocery shopping, balancing all of this, and as all of your, your regular procedures, your regular schedules have completely gone out the window. I get it completely. So here's what I suggest. Get out and take a walk. Text your friends. Teach yourself to do Zoom if you haven't learned yet. Or my favorite, go get a Dr. Pepper. Do something that will help keep you grounded and help keep you mindful of the fact that this too shall pass. Now, we're going to be doing we, uh, we're going to be doing Zoom town halls. Our first one is tomorrow. You've already received an email about that. The faculty have set up a blog so that faculty can exchange ideas in this particular environment, and the staff are preparing to do the same thing. Also, make sure you check our website periodically because we are keeping as much information there as possible to help you understand what's going on. We're also putting together a quick reference sheet for all the faculty and staff so when the students come back on Monday, you'll be able to quickly see who to call to answer all of the questions that I know you're going to be getting. So Monday's probably going to be rocky, but if we maintain our sense of commitment to our students, if we understand that we're all learning this together, then we'll get through it. In closing, I came to West because of what I perceived as a community of individuals adamantly focused on the success of our students. We will get through this and we will prove that my first impression was correct, that we are all here for the sole purpose of helping those students, many of whom are unable to help themselves and they have come to us to provide guidance, to provide support, and to provide the kind of encouragement they need to be the kind of person they want to be. So with that, I thank you for everything, and we will be there together in full force and unified to make sure our students on Monday are able to make the transition right along with us. Thank you.